In recent months, Iceland has faced an unprecedented series of volcanic events that have dramatically impacted local communities. The Reykjanes Peninsula, once a peaceful region known for its geothermal attractions and the famous Blue Lagoon, has transformed into a hotspot of volcanic activity that shows no signs of slowing down. With seven eruptions in just one year, the situation has escalated to the point where thousands of residents have been forced to evacuate their homes, particularly in the town of Grindavik. The protective barriers that once seemed adequate are now being tested as lava flows continue to expand, threatening infrastructure and beloved landmarks. This video explores the intensifying volcanic crisis in Iceland that has led to the largest civilian evacuation in the country's recent history. The Rising Threat The volcanic activity on the Reykjavik Peninsula has entered a new and more dangerous phase. After centuries of dormancy, the region awakened in 2021 with its first eruption in 800 years. Since then, the situation has escalated dramatically, with each new eruption bringing fresh challenges. The most recent eruption, which began on November 20, 2024, marks the seventh event in just 12 months. Unlike previous episodes, this eruption has shown particularly concerning characteristics, with lava flows moving in multiple directions and approaching critical infrastructure. The sustained seismic activity preceding each eruption has created unprecedented challenges. Thousands of earthquakes have shaken the region, with some reaching magnitudes that have caused structural damage to buildings and infrastructure. The frequency and intensity of these tremors have made it increasingly difficult for residents to maintain normal daily activities. Many report difficulty sleeping, anxiety, and constant stress from the continuous ground movement. The town of Grindavik, home to 3,800 residents, has become the epicenter of this crisis. Multiple evacuations have disrupted community life, with each return home marked by uncertainty about how long they can stay. The psychological impact has been significant, with many residents reporting symptoms of trauma and anxiety. Local mental health services have been overwhelmed trying to support affected community members, the evacuation patterns have evolved from temporary measures to long-term displacement. Some residents have chosen to relocate permanently, abandoning generations-old family homes. This exodus represents a fundamental shift in the relationship between Icelanders and their volcanic environment, challenging centuries-old patterns of human settlement in the region. The social fabric of these communities is being tested as extended families are separated and neighborhood networks are disrupted. Scientific Understanding and Monitoring The scientific community has mobilized an unprecedented response to understand and predict the volcanic activity. The Icelandic Meteorological Office has deployed a comprehensive network of monitoring equipment, including advanced seismometers, GPS stations, and satellite systems. This technology provides real-time data about ground deformation, magma movement, and volcanic gas emissions. The integration of these various monitoring systems has created one of the most sophisticated volcanic observation networks in the world, generating terabytes of data daily that require advanced computing systems to process and analyze. The latest eruption has revealed complex behavior patterns that challenge existing volcanic models. Magma movement beneath the surface has created an intricate network of channels and chambers, making it difficult to predict where new fissures might open. Scientists have identified multiple magma reservoirs at different depths, suggesting a more interconnected volcanic system than previously understood. The discovery of these interconnected systems has led to a complete reassessment of how magma moves through the crust in this region, with implications for volcanic monitoring worldwide. Detailed chemical analysis of the erupted materials has provided new insights into the magma's origin and evolution. Scientists have found evidence of multiple magma sources mixing at depth, creating unique chemical signatures that help track magma movement. This chemical fingerprinting has become crucial for understanding how different parts of the volcanic system interact and influence each other. 
The variations in lava composition between different eruption sites have also revealed patterns in how magma evolves as it moves through the crust. The formation of magma dikes has become a major concern. These underground channels can transport molten rock several kilometers from their source, potentially opening new fissures in unexpected locations. The interaction between groundwater and magma has emerged as a critical factor, potentially influencing both the timing and intensity of eruptions. This has led to new research into hydrogeological conditions and their role in volcanic activity. Scientists have developed new models to predict how groundwater systems influence magma movement and heat transfer within the crust. Seismic tomography studies have revealed previously unknown structures beneath the peninsula. Using advanced processing techniques, scientists have created detailed 3D maps of the subsurface, identifying potential magma pathways and storage areas. This imaging has shown that the volcanic system extends much deeper than previously thought, with connections to the mantle that influence magma supply rates and composition. International collaboration has intensified, with volcanic experts from around the world contributing to research efforts. New monitoring techniques are being developed and tested, including the use of artificial intelligence to analyze seismic patterns and predict potential eruption sites. Machine learning algorithms have been trained on historical data to identify subtle patterns that might indicate imminent eruptions. These AI systems have already shown promising results in detecting precursor signals that human analysts might miss. Drone technology has revolutionized close-range monitoring, providing detailed imagery of active fissures and lava flows. Advanced thermal imaging cameras mounted on drones can track temperature changes and identify areas of increased activity. These drones can operate in conditions too dangerous for human observers, collecting crucial data about gas emissions and heat flux. The integration of drone data with other monitoring systems has created a more comprehensive understanding of eruption dynamics. Professor David Pyle from the University of Oxford has highlighted the long-term implications, suggesting this volcanic period could persist for decades or centuries. This assessment is based on historical patterns and the underlying geological processes driving the activity. Studies of similar volcanic episodes in Iceland's geological record suggest that once initiated, these eruptive periods can continue for extended periods, punctuated by periods of relative quiet. The slow release of accumulated strain between the American and Eurasian tectonic plates continues to fuel the volcanic system. GPS measurements show that the plates are separating at a rate of about 2 centimeters per year, creating space for new magma to rise from depth. This ongoing tectonic process ensures a continued supply of magma to the system, making it likely that volcanic activity will persist. Recent research has also focused on the role of climate change in volcanic activity. While the direct connections are still debated, some scientists suggest that changes in ice cover and groundwater systems could influence volcanic behavior. Studies of historical eruptions have shown that changes in surface loading, such as from ice sheets, can affect magma storage and eruption patterns. The scientific community has established new protocols for rapid response and data sharing. International teams can now mobilize quickly to study new eruptions, bringing specialized equipment and expertise. This collaborative approach has accelerated the pace of scientific discovery and improved our understanding of volcanic systems globally. Impact on Infrastructure and Tourism The volcanic crisis has created unprecedented challenges for Iceland's infrastructure and tourism industry. The iconic Blue Lagoon, one of the country's most visited attractions, has faced multiple closures and evacuations. Recent lava flows have encroached on the facility's parking areas and access roads, raising concerns about its long-term viability. Critical infrastructure has been severely impacted. Power plants, water supply systems, and communication networks require constant monitoring and protection. Engineers have had to develop innovative solutions to protect essential services while maintaining accessibility. The geothermal power plants, crucial for Iceland's energy independence, face particular challenges due to their proximity 
to active volcanic areas. Transportation networks have undergone significant disruption. Road systems require frequent rerouting as lava flows create new obstacles. The main road connecting Reykjavik to Keflavik International Airport has needed additional protective measures. The airport itself, while remaining operational, has implemented comprehensive contingency plans for various eruption scenarios. The fishing industry, a cornerstone of Iceland's economy, has faced significant challenges. The port of Grindavik, an important fishing hub, has experienced periodic closures and uncertainty. This has affected not only local fishermen, but also the broader seafood processing and export industry. Storage facilities and processing plants have had to relocate or implement extensive protective measures. Tourism operators have had to reinvent their business models. While volcanic tourism has created new opportunities, the unpredictable nature of the eruptions makes it difficult to plan and operate tours safely. Hotels and guest houses in affected areas have seen dramatic fluctuations in bookings, with some forced to close temporarily or permanently. Government Response and Community Adaptation The Icelandic government's response has evolved into a comprehensive crisis management operation. A dedicated volcanic response center coordinates efforts between multiple agencies, including civil protection, meteorological services, and healthcare providers. New legislation has been passed to provide emergency funding and support for affected communities. Emergency response capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Specialized teams trained in volcanic conditions maintain 24-hour readiness. New equipment and vehicles designed for volcanic terrain have been acquired. Communication systems have been upgraded to ensure reliable information flow during crisis situations. Financial support measures have been expanded to help affected residents and businesses. These include temporary housing assistance, business interruption funds, and relocation grants. The government has also implemented tax relief measures for affected areas and provided additional funding for infrastructure protection. Local communities have demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability. Neighborhood support networks have emerged helping vulnerable residents with evacuation and temporary relocation. Schools have developed hybrid learning systems to maintain education during disruptions. Healthcare facilities have created mobile units and emergency response plans specifically for volcanic conditions. Looking ahead, doom and gloom? The ongoing volcanic crisis represents a fundamental shift in Iceland's relationship with its geological environment. Scientists predict this could be the beginning of a new era of volcanic activity in the region, requiring long-term adaptation strategies. Urban planning and development policies are being reconsidered to account for potential volcanic hazards. International implications extend beyond immediate volcanic threats. The situation has become a case study in disaster response and community resilience. Other countries with volcanic regions are closely monitoring Iceland's experience to improve their own preparedness plans. The crisis has accelerated research into volcanic prediction and monitoring technologies. New methods of data analysis and forecasting are being developed, potentially benefiting volcanic regions worldwide. The international scientific community has established new collaboration networks focused on understanding and managing long-term volcanic threats. Economic planning has entered a new phase with greater emphasis on resilience and adaptability. Insurance companies are developing new models for volcanic risk assessment. Businesses are implementing more robust contingency plans and diversifying their operations to reduce vulnerability to volcanic disruption. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever experienced a natural disaster that forced you to evacuate your home? And how did it impact your perspective on community resilience? Share your stories in the comments below.